Hello world and welcome to Game Like Games, and as you can tell by the kick-ass intro, I'll be doing Carnot Conquer Generals. This doesn't deserve to be in the CNC franchise name. This is just a random RTS which EA pumped out of their heartless, soulless factories of death and pulled a Command and Conquer just so they can make money. This thing ruined CNC. They tried to repair it recently and to mixed effort, to be quite frankly with you. Fuck you, CNC4. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. But this was their first abomination that they pumped out afterwards. Which I found out they tried to retroactively fit into the CNC's fucking storyline. Oh, don't do that to me. Go to hell. You missed the entire point of the Conquer franchise. The history which had been memorized by the fans about how World War II was the Russians against the Americans, and then after that, there's another World War III, which is Russians against the Americans again, and then there's a brief lull in history, and then the 1990s come around, and Tiberium rains down on the planet, and the terrorist organization known as Nod arises and takes over power. Brotherhood! Up into this one, it's just America versus the world! Honestly. I, 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 I can't imagine how little effort they put in to, to make this game. What they did was, they copy-passed it across exactly what happened in the last game. Basically, what they, they, they got, the three factions they have here are America, China, and terrorism. Terrorists. Or, if you pay attention and realize what they are, the Allies first the GDI, the Russians, and Nod. True. They've just kind of splashed together the two franchises and hope no one would notice that they've actually copy-passed it across everything and done it nothing new. And then, and then, and then, it, it, gets, it gets better, it gets better. They, 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 they bought another expansion pack, which, which added nothing. Unlike Euro's Revenge, that had a whole new campaign, a new storyline, and more, you know, revise and balance everything and bore out new machines and everything. No, 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 it's this one. Just new stuff for you, and you don't get another uh, faction to play, play against. Let me launch one. They, they honestly didn't care, and they got rid of the really best part of CNC, if my brutal, honest, obviously, opinion, which matters far more than you because I have a fucking internet show. That is the full motion video capture. What is the point in a Command Conquer game where you can't play a game where, before you get a mission, when you get a mission briefing, it is a really bad actor going, We must invade the American scum. No, no, in this one, you just get text box lines and a really boring woman going, Your new mission is to invade and conquer XYZ. General, I am Lieutenant Eva. I will serve as your comm officer for our campaign against the Global Liberation Army. Patching you through now, General. What? <laughs> You've gone from really, really cool in relative from motion video game, which were cheesy, I know, and if you really wanted to, you could have gotten like serious actors, and then seriously, I don't care, you should have just gotten the video! <laughs> Conquer, and then I look forward to between the missions. The main reason I continue doing the missions as quickly as I did. a network of such devices spread across the globe. Oh no, it, it, it makes far more sense to me because I'm an EA executive not to film more version video, just get a boring woman in announcing how to do the missions. Yay! No! No! And then they take away another point. Where's the Alert 2? You had the you had the different factions, and then you had like the countries in between them, which had different units you could access. And this one, why bother doing that? This is an individual country. I mean, uh, individual countries or terrorists, who I still to this day I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how a terrorist can become a superpower which can battle with the USA and win on several occasions. How are you a terrorist organization? Surely you're just a fucking country which happens to be like fundamental religious or something. It makes literally no sense that they're just called terrorists, even though they can access scud missiles and fucking dirty bomb an entire place. How 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 is that What? <sighs> and but okay, are you saying it's in the countries, they they have like the different generals you can battle. So 
Monty World Bastard in what? They don't add any new units, and they just fight you differently if they're playing on, like, if they were playing against them in, in, in the campaign or on skirmish. No, no difference, like, unit-wise, new base material, no, they just have different strategies. But then you might argue, but the ranking system, that's new and innovative. No, it isn't. They're just giving you limited access to the game, the different things you can use. So instead of being having full access to all of your stuff, I mean, you're able to nuke the shit out of them in every single way you know how. You have limited different options. You can say it makes it better, so you've got different levels of gameplay you can use. But in the campaign, it's restricted. When you play online or in the skirmishes, it's restricted. <laughs> because you need to be destroying, like, ten times the amount of enemy units that actually exist in order to get the decent stuff. And once you get all at one of the maximum levels, you can't get anything else. So essentially, you have to know what you're doing before you start doing it, and your experimentation's out the window. Because <laughs> if you want to get the decent stuff, you can't like level them out ev evenly with all the ranking. But no, 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 you have to go completely down one area. Otherwise, unless you're playing like I don't know a 16-hour-long game or something stupid like that, you'll never get access to all the things. <sighs> and also, uh, uh, they they miss the point of the, the the resource collecting. That's another thing they did wrong. Upgrade. Instead of doing what they did in Command and Conquers before then, either collecting iron ore to refine or collecting Tiberium to refine to make money. No, no, you just get drop off drop off points, which randomly spawn everywhere. Like I'm sure drop offs in the Middle East actually work like that. <laughs> There's no fucking people flying stuff in for supplies. <laughs> that's just silly. They're just lots of random crates scattered throughout the entire world. I mean, that's how the real world works. And another point, what point in history is this meant to be? Because you have, like, everything is like normal modern technology, then you have laser tanks. Laser tanks? What the fuck? At what point in history are we going to have laser tanks like that? Granted, we have Humvees that take down things with lasers now, but this is like full-blown, as in, like, prison-style tanks, lasers. So is this actually modern warfare? A bit in the future warfare? When are we fighting the, a, a terrorist organization which has organized itself into a superpower and China? It, 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 I, uh, what? No! I refuse to believe that at any point in history there's something like this will happen. Ever. <laughs> and also the super weapons are completely underpowered. Back to the last game, you had a weather control device and a fucking nuke. This game, you have three different types of missile, each of them not really doing anything. Like, they explode a bit. Okay, the Scud missile poisons people, uh, the Russians nuke does a little bit more damage and radiates the area. Essentially what it does is explosion and effects damage. <laughs> like, why did I bother? Uh, I, 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 like, in this game, there's no, there's a clear point. The Americans are meant to win each time. You look at the, their tech trees and all their stuff, they have really high advanced fucking tanks and vehicles and everything else like that. And then you have the Chinese who are working off like World War II technology, and the terrorists who are, let's be honest, poorly organized terrorists who are a superpower somehow. So, effectively, the Americans are meant to win each time. It's just by how much they're meant to win. Essentially, it's just a fantasy gun wank game. And Zero Hour didn't add anything on that other than new units. And, and, uh, it, it's just. <sighs> Actually, it's just compared to my, one of my favourite games of all time. They ruined the game! They ruined the whole point of stupid futuristic tunnels. There's, like, there's no circular control squid. It's an entire game. There's no point in playing it now. Now. <laughs> you can't go from circular control squid to normal tank warfare. It's boring. Very boring. Oh, also, the, uh, in the, the Red Alert 2, they had a lot more like it, amphibious units, and, uh, and, and uh, which were inter made like base landing more interesting on the island. And this one, that you don't have that. You're flying infantry, and you don't get any battleships. There's no dreadnoughts. There's no got any nothing. And essentially, we have to assume that at some point in the distant future. The world gets squished all together into one giant landmass, so there's no need for fucking uh, amphibious units. And they're just landlocked in warfare with really underpowered nukes somehow. A known for watching video! How do you fuck that up? Just get, like, aspiring actors and actresses, shove them on camera and tell them to do a funny accent. How hard is that to do? As you know, I can't nitpick myself, so... Come on, demon of nitpicking. You know, I'm gonna get out of the chair before you come in. Nitpick demon. I am the nitpick demon. I'm a 
multilingual ambidextrous demon from the veils of cut and paste. Again with this. I was in the middle of having butt sex with Johnny Cash after putting hot sauce on my dick. I was about to give him the burning ring of fire. You have to give generals its due credit. All they were trying to do was put the best of the best of all the other franchises while leaving all the baggage behind. Plus, the ranking system gave it more playability, unlike your sweetheart, Red Alert 2. Furthermore, getting rid of the cutscenes made it better because then there was more time for gameplay, which is one of the most important things. I mean, look at this shit. Was this even really necessary from Red Alert 2? Ah, oh, comrade! I was just reassuring Comrade Yuri we have nothing to fear from the Republic of Korea. Perhaps the Premiers forget. And once again, unlike your beloved Westwood, at least the pathfinding worked and could put its own socks on it without having its mummy to do it for him. <laughs> Memories. My last point being, at least the explosion effects were good. That shit was tight. I know it may be a small difference, but fuck you, I'm nitpick. <sighs> that was easier. Yeah, he has a point. Uh, the whole... It, the, the pathfinding was improved from the last game. It, uh, more replayability, I guess, if you want to say that. I just think they just kind of... Um, I guess there's more replayability. And I guess, I suppose, that the more generals which added a varying of gameplay rather than just giving you new units maybe kind of makes up for it. On the one hand though, no it does not! Red Alert 2 was easily a better game for the sole fact you get more units, more styles of gameplay you could choose from, and there was no false ranking system to make you replay. You replayed because it was a good fucking game. There's the difference. And also you got a full, full motion video. The full motion video was fucking awesome. Well, what do I know? Oh, oh I, I know enough to know that the EA realised this and then remedied it with Command Hunker 3. <laughs> Which was essentially going back to basics, but they, they missed a few points, and but they got back to the full motion video, they got back to the ridiculous technology, and Red Alert 3 was fucking awesome, and then they ruined it with CNC4, so. Either, it, so EA does listen to me, apparently, or the giant Command & Conquer fan base, but then they stop listening and try and bring innovation by making the mobile construction unit nothing like it is in any of the other games. But that's another round for another day. Uh, another time, another place, and that's not now. <sighs> Next week we go on to Borderlands. Uh, this has had a, been a long time coming. Anyway. I'm Gavite. See the entire world later. Yeah, my games.